What's up, YouTube? I'm Charmaine Jamil, and welcome back to another 10-minute chat. I'm so happy that you are able to join me today because today we are talking about ways to boost your self-confidence. So in this video, I'm going to dive deep into these three tips. And the first one is to observe your ecosystem, build your toolbox, and practice out loud. I really hope that you're able to gain your own definition of what self-confidence means to you and what that looks like for you in your life after you finish this video. But I really just want you to kind of take these suggestions um, to see how you can get some quick boost to your self-confidence and some long-term effects as far as boosting your self-confidence. Self-confidence really is one of those topics that I have really had to scale up toward simply because I just really wanted to move away from the notion of simply fake it until you make it. Now, don't get me wrong, fake it until you make it is really not a bad idea. However, it is something totally different when you're able to walk into a situation to know who you are, what you're capable of, what you offer, as well as your expectations. I really wanted to make this change for myself simply because I was starting to know how I was allowing other people to be the narrator of my story. And it really ended up making me feel a certain type of way because in the end, they were dictating to me who I was. So I really kind of come, came to this conclusion of without confidence within ourselves, it really kind of lends itself toward playing a dangerous game because it really can change the course of our lives. If we don't have our self-confidence, then when it comes to our life and decisions that we need to make or the choices that we feel that we have, we kind of almost lean into comfortable choices so they're not second guessing ourselves instead of challenging ourselves to really put ourselves out there to building the highest quality of life. I really think it's important for you to build your own definition of what self-confidence means and looks like for your life because we go through these different phases and changes in our life and that definition can really be different in every phase. That's why I mentioned earlier that I've been able to scale up on what self-confidence looks like for me. So my definition of self-confidence right now is really anchored in the effort of me releasing any negative thoughts that I thought to be true about myself and really coming into the realization of who I want to be, what I want to be known for, and really being assertive in making plans for the things that I really want to achieve. I work on these tips that I'm getting ready to dive in a little bit deeper on a daily basis. So I hope that you're able to explore them and see how you can make them your own. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Observation is really one of our best tools when we're really observing our ecosystem because we really are wanting to shed what is no longer serving us and bringing in more of what positively builds our ecosystem. We all have our own life's ecosystem that really includes people, places, and things. And once all of those start to interact with each other, considering the external factors and the internal factors, we're really left with needing to know how can we thrive in our life's ecosystem. So these are kind of some of my suggestions when you're talking about people really leaving those people behind that are going to try to make your life their practice feel and gravitating toward people who you're able to learn from, who make you feel seen and heard. When we're talking about places, don't go to places that are made to make you feel less than or waste your time. Instead, really go into more spaces that give you the opportunity to practice, your, to practice some type of skill to improve your life. And the last section is things. And this is really a broad area where you really can place a lot of ideas in, but I really wanted to hone in on the idea of scheduling. What timing can you control? Because if we think about this, you really want to move into a place where your schedule is open. It gives you enough time to process and think about the ideas and practices 
that you have completed so that you can move in a direction to continually keep your life's ecosystem in balance. And the next section, which is build your toolbox, is all about knowledge. Knowledge is one of the best things that you can have to build your confidence. Because let me tell you, there is nothing like knowing something for yourself for sure. If I had to give three tips on where you can really hone a skill and really build your knowledge in, it really is to hone your skill on listening, research, and speaking. Because through these three avenues, you are really able to advocate for yourself in any situation. And the last tip is all about practicing out loud. You want to practice being unapologetically you until it feels right. Then you want to blow it out of the water when the opportunity comes. This is really the area where you want to check your habits that dissuade you from being your best self versus encouraging you to be your best self, like our wellness and our diet and the types of hobbies that we include ourselves in. Another area is really where you want to check how you present yourself, the clothes that you wear. But I really want to encourage you if you are, you know, taking the time to put these clothes on, you really have to see yourself as that person first. And the last little tidbit about practicing out loud is really kind of those quick boosts, which really kind of fall into a cosmetic um, category, which is keeping your hair in a certain manner that makes you feel confident. Something so simple as uh, straightening your teeth. Now, this might be too much information, but I was an adult who wore braces. And let me tell you, it was really one of the best things that I could have ever done, simply because when I smile now, that is the quickest way to let people know I care about myself, tread lightly, because I will not allow you to treat me any kind of way. And when I walk into a room, I walk into a room being able to smile and instantly show I have confidence in myself and I'm going to do this. There you have it. Those are our three tips that can help you boost your self-confidence. But I also want to remind you with any self journey or any self development or improvement, you really always want to kind of stick to a certain promise that you keep to yourself. And you can make up your own promises, but just in case you need a little idea of maybe, you know, what you can base it off on, here are my two promises. Promise number one whatever is pruned away from your life because of this process, acclimate yourself to the truth and accept it so that you can move forward to fully being who you were designed to be in this lifetime. Promise number two, vow to yourself to protect your growth and progress from those people and things that it could influence you to turn back to your old self. I really hope that you all have enjoyed this video for this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.